Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Credit Safe webinar. We're excited to have you with us today. Uh, I'm excited about today's webinar. It's some exciting things that we're doing uh, in light of kind of the situation that's going on and, and everything that's happening in the world today. Um, but before we dive in and before I introduce our, our speaker and everything, uh, a little bit of a, a kind of a housekeeping type note. We are going to be taking questions throughout the webinar. If you look at the bottom of your screen, you'll have a little Q&A tab. It's got like two little uh, quote bubbles there. And we want to make sure that you use that. If you send those questions to us, I'm going to aggregate them. I'm going to put them together. And at the end of the webinar, what we're going to do is allow for um, everybody to, to ask those questions. You can do them throughout. And then at the end of the webinar, what I'm going to do is ask our speaker uh, all about the, the different questions that you might have and we'll go over everything. And speaking of, of our speaker and our guest today, I want to introduce Matthew Debich. Uh, Matthew is the COO of Credit Safe Group and the CEO of Credit Safe Asia and Americas. Uh, so he, he has nothing that he does all day. No, he is an extremely busy man. Uh, he has been responsible for Credit Safe's international expansion across Europe, Asia, and the US. Matthew's been building a career in business intelligence and company credit management solutions for more than a decade and has developed global expertise along the way. Um, so it's my pleasure to welcome in Matthew, uh, my boss. So I'm excited to have him here with us and uh, have him getting a chance to produce or to talk about this product that we have in this program that's going on. So how are you doing today, Matthew? Very good. Thank you for a lovely introduction. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Credit Safe Stay Safe program. Now, whenever I do presentations, I always like to start with a, an icebreaker, and they tend to be amusing. I try to make them as amusing as possible. And the reason I do that is it calms my nerves down a little bit. And also, you tend to get sort of better engagement from, from the participants. Now, half an hour ago, my marketing department told me this uh, webinar was gonna be uploaded on YouTube later on this afternoon. And that has made me incredibly nervous because I know my two teenage children who are locked away in my house at the moment will love to get on and see me on uh, YouTube and have a laugh at my expense. Unfortunately, I couldn't come up with an amusing one today. And my icebreaker is something that I never thought I'd have to do in my career or talk about in my uh, career. Okay, so 30% of all businesses in the US now are facing imminent catastrophic financial disruption. Now I tasked my team of data scientists and data analysts two weeks ago to really take a deep dive look into uh, how COVID was impacting US uh, business. And what they did is they looked at individual industries. And we, what, we, what we actually did was look at what we call the SIG code, which is a way of defining uh, an, an, an industry. First of all, they looked at the industries that the US government considered essential versus non-essential. And if an industry was non-essential, as we know, uh, that meant that businesses couldn't operate from their usual locations. So we then looked to see whether those businesses would be able to work from home. Um, we then also looked at the turnover of businesses in each industry. How would their turnover be affected? And that played a huge part of our analysis. We then looked at the supply chain and everybody's supply chain has been impacted to some degree, some more than others. And again, that played a huge part. We also looked at how long it took businesses in each industry to pay their bills. Because what we saw was there were many industries that were delaying payments compared with this time last year. So that, that played a huge part. Once all of the industry analysis was done, we then started looking at the individual businesses themselves. So we were taking into consideration things like the size of the company, how big they were. 
we would look at things like the stimulus packages available to uh, businesses. We'd look at how that business was paying its actual bills itself. Was anything changing? Was anything getting worse? We also looked at the location of where that business was situated in the United States, because some of the states, as we know, are more open than others. Then we look, finally looked at the credit score, the credit safe credit score. And what we were able to do is then divide them into the impact. And the, it's the D's and the E's, which is almost 30%, which troubles me the most, as far as that's concerned. Okay. So another interesting uh, slide um, is, this slide is basically showing the usage of Credit Safe's customers. Now, Credit Safe has just over 100,000 customers globally, of which we have around half a million users. And what we can see is a massive peak in usage. We've never seen anything like it. So what this is telling us is that our customers are obviously feeling the need to credit check like they've never done before which is probably quite obvious under the, the, the circumstances. In the US, we have just over 10,000 customers. And when we're talking to them, when we're surveying them, the overriding message is they're looking for direction. And that's when we came up with the idea of this Stay Safe program, which is really the genesis of the Stay Safe uh, program. So what's important, I think, to, especially for the US economy as a whole, is to take a, a deep look at the small business community. Now, the quicker small businesses get through this, how they deal with this current si situation will determine how long it will take us to get out of this economic turmoil. Now, all the surveys are saying the same thing, and this one in particular, is, is talking about 88% of small business in the US has been dramatically impacted by the COVID outbreak. Then what we do is, we, if you look at the, from a US perspective, we've got the huge companies at the top, what we call the publicly traded uh, companies. And, or, or not FTSE 500, we call them the Fortune 500 companies. Then, as we can see, they only make up 0.1% of all companies in the US. We then go down to the bottom. 90% of all business in the US are what we define as the micro or small medium businesses. And they're companies that have got less than 100 employees or less than 10 million in terms of annual turnover. So that makes up the biggest part of the US structure. They employ almost 50% of the entire workforce in the US, which is roughly 60 million people. Okay, so with the small business community in mind, we were thinking, how can we help US business during this difficult time? Now, obviously, Credit Safe has a huge cost when it comes to collecting uh, data. You know, we're updating something like 50 million records every month with data sources. It's incredibly expensive. But the reality of it is we already incur that cost. It's a sunken cost to us. So the idea of giving access to as many small businesses or any size businesses in the US completely free doesn't cost us anything. So we just wanted to play a small part in helping the community. So let's talk about what it is. Today's presentation isn't about going into detail. It's about giving you an overview of what we are providing completely free of charge. So first of all, the traditional credit reports. We're gonna give everybody access to our credit report uh, packages. On top of that, we're doing something called the portfolio health report, which essentially you provide us with a list of all of your customers. We will then match it against our database and then send you back some really good analysis on what all of your customers are looking like today. 
And the final piece of the puzzle, which we're including in the, in the free package, is the ability for you to own your own business report, monitor your own report and build your own report, which I'll talk about in a moment. So first of all, the credit reporting uh, part. So essentially, there's four things I just want to draw your attention to. First of all, the credit score. So the credit safe credit score is on a scale to one to 100, and it basically predicts the likelihood of a business going bankrupt in the next 12 months. And at the same time, how likely it is you will get paid. Inside the report is also something called days beyond terms. Essentially what that is, is it shows in the report how long it takes that business to pay its bills. Does it pay its bills on time? Does it pay its bills early? Or does it pay its bills late? And if it's late, how many days late it is? And at the moment, that's crucial information. Number three is derogatory legal data. Our reports will, will show you straight away whether any of the businesses you're looking at have got any tax liens, any judgments in the last six years to nine months, plus whether there's been any bankruptcies filed against those businesses. And the last piece of the puzzle is the credit limits. We will recommend a credit limit for you. So you will know what the maximum amount of credit you should consider offering a company at any one time. So when you're actually looking at a credit report, and the reason I think we've probably made the decision to give this away free, is that you can ask yourself and hopefully help answer all of these questions. How likely is this company gonna go bankrupt in the next 12 months? How much credit can I feel comfortable offering this business? Is a potential partner likely to pay me on time? And has anything changed that could affect my customer's ability to pay me? Then we move on to what I probably consider to be the most exciting part of the free of charge package, which is what we call the portfolio health review. So essentially, you provide us with a list of your customers. We take those customers, we match them against our database, and we provide you with a PDF report, which basically splits up all of your data and analyzes all of the companies inside it. And at the same time, we provide you with an Excel spreadsheet with your customers together with all the interesting data that Credit Safe holds on them. For example, credit score, DBT, the COVID impact score. So when we receive the, um, the, the customer list, what we'll do is we'll provide an update straight away. It will take us about a day to provide you with, with an update. Then we'll do it again in 30 days, and again in 60 days, and again in 90 days. So you, because things are changing so fast. This is the sort of things that's included. So we'll give a matching percent. On average, when we ever receive a customer list, we tend to match about 92, 93%. Then for all of those customers, we'll provide you the days beyond terms. For all, for all the customers, we'll provide you the credit score. Then we'll look at where all your customers are spread throughout the US. So we'll be able to tell you exactly which state they are in. For every single one of your customers, we'll provide you with the industry they are in together with the COVID risk impact score for that industry, the number of employees for each of your customers, the revenue bounding, details of all of the derogatory legal filings for that company, and how long every single one of your customers has been trading for. Okay, so the final part of the package. This will provide you the tools to monitor and build your own credit report. Now we all know if any one of you today <clears throat> is interested in getting credit, it's imperative that your report is completely up to date. What we will allow you to do is access your own report, update it where needed, and most importantly, provide us with any trade payment data on how you pay 
your suppliers and your customers. And then we will append that to your report. Then at the same time, we'll be able to add that to monitoring and we will be able to show you whenever anything changes on your report. Has anyone looked at your report? Has anything changed? Has the credit score changed on your own credit report? So, so how are we going to do this? Okay, so it's so, so simple. It's just a, a link which we will send you at the end of this uh, presentation. Very, very straightforward. You'll be up and running. You follow the, the instructions once you click the, the link. You'll be assigned an account manager who will go through the detail of, of how to use the product. They'll just show you around. It'll be a 10 minute, what we call a demonstration. So you feel completely comfortable using it. And then you're up and running and you can use reports for your heart content. If you want to benefit from the, um, the, the health check, again, very, very simple. It will take us 24 hours for, to get back the report for you. Just simply email us your customer list and the report will come back. And at the end of this uh, meeting, we'll be emailing you another link on how you can update and view your very own credit report on yourself. So now's the opportunity for anybody to ask uh, any uh, questions. And as I've said, tomorrow I will be doing a very detailed webinar on the COVID impact score. And of course, everybody uh, is very welcome to attend um, that webinar as well. Great job, Matthew. Thank you. Um, yes, just to, to kind of talk about that as, as a couple of questions here are coming in. Um, the, if you go to our website, if you go to creditsafe.com and you go up in the upper right hand corner in the B2B guide, uh, as soon as you click that, you'll see webinars and you can sign up and register for that webinar that Matthew's doing tomorrow, um, on the COVID-19 impact score, uh, that he was, that he introduced and was talking about, uh, definitely at the beginning of this presentation, but also throughout. Um, so a couple of questions for you here, Matthew. Um, first of all, uh, what type of data should folks be using for the portfolio health review? Um, says something about, you've got, you said something about customers, but could they do suppliers or other companies as well? Yeah, I mean, I think at this time, uh, and it's probably why we're seeing a huge peak in our usage. Uh, of course, you can include suppliers, customers, it really doesn't matter. And it is so simple. It's just the company name and the address is all we need. And then we will just, it will take us 24 hours. We'll append all the data we hold on it and send you back a really, really nice uh, report. But of course, you're, they're welcome to put suppliers, customers, partners, competitors, whatever they like on that list. Great, great. Um, okay, and when you were talking about the reports, it says uh, 50 reports on US companies. Um, what about international reports or international companies if they work with international companies? Yeah, I mean, we're in a very fortunate position, in fact, uh, because we're, we, we hold uh, an international uh, database. And I think something like the stat is 99.3% of all global credit decisions can be found on the credit save system. Um, I, no, I'd be happy to put 10 of those in to the package so everybody gets access to 10 online international reports as Very well. Cool. Oh, great. Okay. Um, and then you, you had talked right there towards the end about building your company credit report. Uh, what's actually involved in that? You, you kind of hit on it a little bit, but could you give them a little more detail about that? Yeah, well, I think you're going to send the link out, aren't you, to the, what we call the My Credit Safe uh, website. So essentially, a uh, very simple process again. Uh, you get issued with the username and password. You perform a search on the system, and then you can review and update your data. And again, when it comes to adding payment data um, inside your report, that's when we'll need to active, uh, get our account manager involved, who will then collect that data from you they will sense check the data and make sure that it's um, correct information and then they will update that for you. But there's lots of data that you can update yourself, like for example, your business classification and that sort of thing. Okay, great. Um, and one more here that I have. Um, if I'm a customer already, 
Would I still go to the link? I have an account manager and everything, but do I need to use that link? Um, I think it's just, I think you can just probably just send the, the details to your account manager or just let us know now and then we'll get the account manager um, to collect that information from you. We'll make it as simple for you as possible. Um, oh, we just got one more. Uh, 50 reports per customer or 50 reports per user that they sign up? I mean, at the end of the day, uh, <clears throat> we're honestly, we are doing this uh, to help the US uh, community get through this. And if somebody needs it's more than 50 reports, we'll give them more than 50 reports. It's as simple as that. We put something there just so people wouldn't abuse the system. But so of course, if somebody needed more than that, we can give them more than that. Just let us know how many you want and we'll uh, add those to your account. Not a problem at all. Okay. Well, that seems to be all the questions we have today. Thank you so much, Matthew, um, for being here and for, for talking about this program and all that. And like Matthew said, uh, be on the lookout for all these other webinars we have coming up. Uh, he has another one tomorrow on the COVID-19 impact score. Um, and you can see all of these on, the, on our website, um, in the webinars link, and you will be getting that, uh, for everyone that's attended today, uh, you will be getting that in the follow-up email. You'll be getting a link to our other webinars as well as the link that Matthew mentioned in regards to the Stay Safe program. So it'll take you directly there. Uh, you won't have a problem getting there and it'll be easy. Um, and if for some reason that, that doesn't work for you, you can just always go to creditsafe.com and uh, the first thing right at the top of the banner, uh, the banner right there at the top is the Stay Safe program. And like I said, in the upper right is the B2B guide, which has the information about all of the uh, webinars and everything like that coming up. Um, and here's our information. If you'd like to get a hold of us in any other way, um, you can see this on the screen right here. And as Matthew alluded to, all of our webinars are hosted on YouTube, but they're also on that website that I was talking about under the B2B guide and into webinars. Uh, they're all right there. So you, if you've missed one or if you want to share it with a colleague or something like that, uh, we're happy to have you do that. They're all hosted there and you can uh, access them at any time. So thanks so much for being with us and we look forward to seeing you at our next webinar. Have a great day.